Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm Rishi. Hello. We'll get some tea in a minute. And pause. How is your five-point plan going? Brutally honest, I've got these five priorities that I'm trying to focus on. They were to halve inflation, grow the economy, reduce debt, cut waiting lists, and to stop the boats. Well, let's see how all that's going. They were to halve inflation. Food inflation in September was a staggering 9.9%. So is it any wonder a million adults in this country can't even afford to eat every day? Nine million are skipping meals and cutting back on food. And a record 2.1 million people are now using food banks. And contrary to what this Prime Minister keeps telling us, bringing down inflation is not a tax cut for hard up families. It's insulting to suggest it is. Falling inflation just means prices are rising more slowly than they were before. It does not mean that price levels are actually falling so it won't immediately help the families now struggling to put food on the table. And remember this, when inflation was last at 2.5% in 2021, there were over 13 million people living in poverty under this government. That figure's now increased to more than 14 million. Grow the economy. Well, imagine the shock for the Prime Minister when he finds out that according to the International Monetary Fund, Britain will see the weakest economic growth across the G7 next year. In its latest health check on the global economy, the IMF lowered the UK's projected growth rate from 1% in 2024 to just 0.6%. That's worse than recession-hit countries in the Eurozone, and slower than even sanctioned Russia, which is expected to expand by 1.1%. Reduce debt. Well, again, imagine the shock when he finds out his government has actually given us the highest debt in 60 years. And that dire situation is unlikely to change any time soon under a Conservative government. Don't just take my word for it. Listen to Chancellor Jeremy Hunt speaking to Sky News on October 13th. The numbers are definitely worse than what I faced in the spring. Really, they, our, are, our, they are worse, are they? Our debt interest is likely to be 20 to £30 billion pounds higher this year than we predicted in the spring. And the Prime Minister will fall off his chair when someone tells him the Conservative government has also given us the highest taxation in 70 years. Cut waiting lists. NHS waiting lists in England have just hit another record high of 7.75 million. Right, we're making progress for sure. And to stop the boats. More than 25,000 people have crossed the English Channel in small boats so far this year. And again, imagine the Prime Minister's shock when someone tells him the huge rise in the numbers of dangerous small boat crossings is in large part a direct consequence of the Brexit deal he championed, specifically the government's decision to leave the EU without a returns agreement in place. I totally agree with you. Uh, the situation is completely ridiculous. Well, thanks very much. I want your life to just be easier. That means I have to make some difficult decisions but those are the right decisions for everyone in the long term. Well, those difficult decisions that will apparently benefit all of us in the long run include imposing crappy royal terms, pay cuts on public sector workers, robbing millions of their democratic right to strike, locking millions out of the electoral process, and stripping back our right to protest about it all. 